Hi friends, I've brought a new video for you. This video is going to be on Dallas NC. Dallas NC contains clindamycin 300 milligrams in it. It has 16 capsules. It's made by Pfizer Pharmaceuticals and the price for one box is 491 rupees. Clindamycin is used to treat certain types of bacterial infections including infections of the lungs, skin, blood, female reproductive organs and internal organs. Clindamycin is in a class of medications called lincomycin antibiotics. It works by slowing or stopping the growth of bacteria. Antibiotics such as clindamycin will not work for colds, flu or other viral infections. Using antibiotics when they are not needed increases your risk of getting an infection later that resists antibiotic treatment. Clindamycin comes as a capsule and a solution to be taken by mouth. This is a capsule and it is usually taken 3 to 4 times a day. The length of your treatment depends on the type of infection you have and how well you respond to the medication. Take clindamycin at around the same time every day. Follow the directions on your prescription label carefully and ask your doctor or pharmacist to explain any part you do not understand. Take clindamycin exactly as directed. Do not take more or less of it or take it more often than prescribed by your doctor. Shake the liquid well before each use to mix the medication evenly. Take the capsules with a full glass of water so that the medication will not irritate your throat. You should begin to feel better during the first few days of treatment with clindamycin. If your symptoms do not improve or if they get worse, call your doctor. Take clindamycin until you, fi you finish the prescription. Even if you feel better, if you stop taking clindamycin too soon or skip doses, your infection may not be completely treated and the bacteria may become resistant to antibiotics. Clindamycin is also sometimes used to treat acne and is used along with other medications to treat to treat anthrax, a serious infection that may be deliberately spread as a part of a terror attack, and malaria, a serious infection that is spread by mosquitoes in certain parts of the world. Clindamycin is also sometimes used to treat ear infections, tonsillitis, infections that causes swelling of the tonsils, pharyngitis, infections that causes swelling in the back of the throat, and toxoplasmosis, an infection that may cause serious problems in people who do not have healthy immune system or in unborn babies whose mothers are infected. When these in conditions cannot be treated with other medications, clindamycin is also sometimes used to treat bacterial vaginosis, an infection caused from too much of certain bacteria in the vagina. Clindamycin is also sometimes used to prevent endocarditis, infection of, infection of the heart valves, in certain people who are at risk of developing this infection as a result of a dental procedure. Talk to your doctor about the risks of using this medication for your condition. This medication may be prescribed for other users. Ask your doctor or pharmacist for more information. Take the missed dose as soon as you remember it. However, if, you, if it is almost time for the next dose, skip the missed dose and continue your regular dosing schedule. Do not take a double dose to miss, make up for a missed one. Some side effects of clindamycin are nausea, vomiting, unpleasant or metallic taste in the mouth, joint pain, pain with swallowing, heartburn, white patches in the mouth, thick white vaginal discharge, burning, itching and swelling of the vagina. Some serious side effects include rash, hives, peeling or blistering skin, itching, difficulty breathing, hoarseness, swelling of the face, throat, tongue, lips, eyes, hands, feet, ankles or lower legs, yellowing of the skin and decreased urination. Clindamycin may cause other side effects. Call your doctor if you have any unusual problems while taking this medication. I hope you like the video. Please like and share our channel. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you.